Hello everyone! For this video, it is going to be the review of Wrath, Drigger F, and Zone Balkett. So this is another one of Hasbro's Dual 2 packs. So these two packs are where you get one Hypersphere and one Slingshock. They've been doing it for a little bit. Uh, this one is a very interesting case to talk about, simply because of Drigger Fang. Now for those that do not know, we were supposed to get a Drigger Fang with Beyblade Burst Rise's Slingshock, and it never released. It was supposed to have Power Slingshock on it. I don't know what happened to it, why they didn't release it, but unfortunately, it did not release at the time of this recording. It's a <laughs> little bit to talk about. I think the parts on Valkyrie are perfectly fine for a Hypersphere release. I think uh, for Drigger, uh, the Slingshock parts are really like, come on, what is this? Is this isn't this Fusion? This is Fusion Slingshock. Why didn't they just give it like powerful on this one and it's like a black recolor or something? You know what I mean? It's such a wasted, <laughs> wasted part. Like, come on. We're gonna first start off with the Hypersphere one just because I want to start off with it. We have our Balkesh uh, chip. And you know, I have to mention this since uh, it's, it's, you know, it's a little bit relevant. Where's the paint Hasbro? Where's the paint? And also, I should also talk about this too, but I understand that when they originally did it with the Phoenix, it was a color reference to Eclipse Genesis, right? And they did it again. Uh, slopes are fine when I assembled it, you know, it's okay. So we're gonna move on to our next part, which is zone. So it's, uh, you know, again, nice recolor, I guess, suppose. And they painted pretty much everything, I guess, other than the tiny little detail on the eyes or whatever. Looks pretty sweet. After that, we, of course, got Python, but it's a Hasbro exclusive disc. I don't really care about it, whatever. There is Destroyer Hypersphere. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a nice addition, I guess, considering how many times we've gotten it. Chip, which is 3.45 versus this one which is 3.41. Now for the basis, the black one is 8.72. Oof, all right, a little bit of a difference there. All right, together now, 12 grams. Remember when they used to be heavy? 9.33. Nine. It is, I would say, a little bit below average, in all honesty. 40.32. As far as how this looks, I don't... How many times do I have to keep on saying it? Just please. It's just like they can look nice, and this still does look nice. It's just like the missing detail is always a confusing thing. Next up, we have got our lair, which is Wrath Trigger Fang. So, if we take a look at the side by side, what do you notice that is a key detail other than I guess the little Japanese letters inside uh, the chip? The key detail is that the eyes are only half, so they made it... <laughs> Why? Why even like paint two of the eyes? What is the point? Just don't paint it at all, because it looks really distracting when you look at it. It's it's baffling. Aside from that, as far as slopes go, surprisingly, it is better than Wahlborg and Drigger Fang. But hard to actually show for the lighting. So slopes on it are fine. So that's at least good. Uh, the part I'm not even going to cover these. These garbage. We're going to weigh this. Six point eight two. And by the way, they've hollowed it out because before it would be two pieces on the thing, right? So let me give you an example. If I get an older one that they did, you'll see that it was two pieces, right? It was the whole little bit chip that they had it, but they actually cheapened out on the costs on it and they just hollowed it out. So it's really annoying. So 6.82, like the two discs, 21.23, and then after five points, Four, whatever. All together now, it is a total of 33.42. 
And I've already given my thoughts on it, but it is very unfortunate that uh, especially just fans of the older generations kind of get left in the dirt. And it's really sad when you realize how long it took for these remakes to come out because look at how far TT is with Metal Fight remakes and the plastic remakes. And Hasbro should have caught up a long time ago and they've been playing catch up and I don't even know if we're still going to be getting more of these remakes like are we going to get Gaia Dragoon? Are we going to get the V remakes, the V2s? Is Storm Pegasus still a thing, you know? I don't know. Okay, we're going to do the test launch first for Drigger Fang. So that is normal. Now I got to put it in slingshot mode. I never liked this one because they always they, they always pick like the, the ones that they started off with, not the ones later on. That's mainly that's mainly been my issue with the uh, slingshot mode, but uh, we'll, we'll try it. Let's launch uh, Zone Balkesh. Okay, it seems like this bay is cursed if I launch into the slingshot stadium. We almost lost our power, so let's try it again. Three, two, one, let it rip. Well then, this is gonna certainly be interesting. All right, we're gonna do one battle against it and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. So best of luck, Trigger Fang. Oh, it got stuck, look at that. Genius design. Wow, this is, this is where it's at. Oh my God, wow. Oh. It, it did so well. We're gonna do Drigger Fang against your seal. Good. Yeah, this is not gonna win with stamina because they decided just to pick it with a garbage tip. Wow, the gap on these were so big. Why did they take so long to release these? I'm hoping we get something out of this. Like, come on, please win. Don't worry, we have Dragoon. Even Dragoon is not amused. Wow, and it was a burst. Thank you, Hasbro, Holo hollowing out the bays and hollowing out their potential. All right, this is, we're gonna do the evolution battle now. Oh no, it's, tech it's, still, it's technically evolved from it because it originally had fusion. Now it's fusion slingshot. Uh, it's probably gonna at least beat the original. Okay, for the record it can, but I'm not doing another round. Parts make me so sad on this. All right, it's the TT version, come on. It'll probably do like a burst or something. Surely a burst, right? See, this is, this is what happens. We're gonna see what happens when Hasbro's at their potential right now. Anything? Anything cool? No, all right. Okay, we have got our HS Stadium, so where are you? Ready, Jigger Fang. Hey, look at it go. Very nice. Yeah, so Zone's got definitely good movement. Okay. All right, we got Drigger, we got Zone. Well, we got Genesis versus Zone. I mean, unfortunate nonetheless, but
Will I get this at least? Nope. Well then, this is a well, this is a surprising turn of events. Alright, gotta fight the, the counterpart. What do we get? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do one more. Just one more. Alright, winner takes all. Okay. So clearly, the weakest one in this two pack is actually Zone Balkash. Unfortunate. Is this two is this two pack worth Final thoughts, is this two pack worth getting? Well, the value that you would get would be a uh, Drigger <laughs> Fangs Lair, I guess. So, you know, that's fine. It seems to have better slopes than Wolborg and uh, Drasil F. So, you know, they didn't botch this one in specific, so it's fine. Though the choice of parts for it could have been a little bit better. As far as Zone Palgesh is concerned, if you're a Hypersphere fan, for an example, and you really want to get it, it's only going to be because it's a recolor, because clearly the performance <laughs> is not there. I would say with these two packs that they're best on a discount. I don't, <laughs> I don't think they're full price worthy, especially with how they've been doing it. But yeah, aside from that, there is one more we have set our eyes on. If you have not already seen, please check out our Hydrax review. We are on our way to eventually obtain Command, Valtriac, and Marigna. And after that, we will complete uh, the purple bays that are based on Eclipse Genesis, <laughs> the, colors, the color scheme. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and here's to hoping we can get better two-packs in the future from Hasbro. Bye!